Welcome and join us for kids' class tonight. I hope that you've had a wonderful day. Tonight, I hope that you grab your Bibles and turn to Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5. If you go to the New Testament, Matthew is the first book in the New Testament. It is considered one of the Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Gospels means good news. So the good news about Jesus is told to us in the Gospels. Now, in Matthew chapter 5, Jesus is talking about the Sermon on the Mount. And we've just covered the Beatitudes, but he's giving some other thoughts of how we should live a Christian life. And so we come to Matthew chapter 5, which is the big number, right? You go to look at the big number 5, and then I want you to go to the little number, verse 38 is where we're going to start if you're reading along. So Matthew chapter 5 and verse 38 through 42. I'm going to be looking at the New King James Version and reading from it, talking about going the second mile, and then we have some thoughts for you from a skit that we're going to do for you for tonight to help us understand what do we need to do as Christians to go above and beyond, to do as God asks and to be pleasing to Him. So Matthew chapter 5, verse 38 says, You have heard it said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I tell you not to resist an evil person. Whoever slaps you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if anyone wants to uh, sue you, take away your tunic, let him have your cloak also. And whoever compels you to go one mile, go with him two. Give to him who asks you, and from him who wants to borrow from you, do not turn away. Our thought tonight is really going to center around that thought of when somebody asks you to go one mile, go with him a second. You see the thought in the culture here that the Romans could come and they could ask somebody who is just a a, a citizen to carry their their armor, to carry their their supplies, and they were compelled, they had to, carry it at least one mile. That was the law. And so a lot of people would have a mile marked off either way from their house of, I have to carry it this far and I'm done. Well, if we're going to be Christian about it, isn't it going to make a statement if we not just carry it to the mile marker, but we say, look... I'll help you another mile, and then you can continue to carry your pack. Jesus is trying to remind us that we don't just do what we have to be done or what we have to do, but we do extra. And so he says, don't just just go just the one mile. Extend yourself and go a second mile. We're going to do a little skit here for you that I hope to convey this thought process to you. I want to introduce to you Dr. Seuss. Hi, kids. Good day, I'm Dr. Seuss. You may think me a little quirky or jerky. I am in no way flaunty or flirty. I want to tell you, if you care to hear, about some of my latest work and make it clear. You may have heard about Sam I Am and Green Eggs and Ham, but the one you really should give a do is the story of one mile or two. Please listen to what you must do as I introduce to you Diddly Do and Ella Kazoo. Lend an ear, because I'm telling you true, the Christian way is not one mile, but two. Did Diddly Do. Hey, I'm Ellie, Ellie Kazoo. That Diddly Do and that Ella Kazoo. We do not like you. We do not like any of you. Would you like to run one mile or two? I would not run, diddly do. I would not run one mile or two. Would you run here or there? <laughs> I would not run here, and I would not run there. I would not run one mile or two. I would not run, Ellie Kazoo. Would you run to be the bigger man? Would you run to lend a helping hand? I would not run to be the bigger man. I would not run to lend a helping hand. I would not run here or there. I would not run anywhere. I would not run one mile or two. I will not run Ellie Kazoo. Would you run with compassion? Would you run with lots of action? I would not run to be the bigger man. I would not run to lend a helping hand. I would not run here or there. I would not run anywhere. I would not run one mile or two. Not one, Ellie Kazoo. No way. Would you, could you run with care? Run, run, if you dare. I would not, could not run with care. You may run, you will see. You may run one mile, two, or maybe three. No, I would not, could not, ever run three. Not with care. You let me be. Don't even think about it. Don't wait. 
Wait. I could not, would not. Wait. Sorry. I need you to think not on the physical so much, but on things from above. Diddly do, ask about love. For love, for love, for love. Would you, could you run for love? <laughs> what? For love? No, not for love. Let me be. I'll never run three. Not with care. Do? What'd you say? Let me be. That's right. Say, for an enemy, right now, for an enemy. Would you, could you, for an enemy? I would not care. Not for an enemy. Never for an enemy. No. no. Mm. We don't do that. Would you, could you, for a dove? I would not, could not, for a dove. Not for an enemy, not for love. I will not ever run three, nor run, you see. Not with compassion, not with action. I would not run here or there. I would not run anywhere. Mm -mm. No way. We wouldn't do it. You would not run one mile or two. <laughs> I would not run, diddly do. Could you, would you, for a friend? I would not, could not, for a friend. Would you, could you, run till the end? I would not, could not, run till the end, not for a friend. I would not, for a dove, not for an enemy, not for love. I'll never run, three. I will never run, you see, not with compassion, not with action. I would not run here or there. I would not run anywhere. You will not run, so you say. Try it, try it, and you may. Try it, and you may, I say. Diddly do. If you will let me be, I'll try it. You will see. You see, as our friends will find out, they will want to shout. They will love the Christian life no matter what kinds of ups, downs, or strife. Listen up and you will see they will run for God, if you please. What? This, this, say, this is kind of fun. Uh, hold on, let me, whew, let me catch my breath. Say, say I, I like to run. One mile, maybe two, maybe three. I, I do like it. I, I do like it, diddly do. I, I do like it, Ella Kazoo. I, I think I would run to the end. I, I think I would run for a friend. I, I would run two miles for a dove, maybe an enemy, maybe for love. Maybe I would run one mile. Maybe we could run two miles, maybe three. What about you? I would run two miles with care. I would run with compassion. I would run with action. I would run to be the bigger man. I would run to be the helping hand. I would run here or there. I would run anywhere. I would run one mile or two. I would run diddly do in Ella Kazoo. Thanks, did. Thanks, diddly do. Thanks, Pre Ella Kazoo. We appreciate Thanks. you. <laughs> Y'all are so good. Yeah, I thank man. you thank very you. much. So oh. much. Oh. Come on, let's go. Let's go try this one mile. Let's run this two mile. Maybe I'll go three mile. I may be a little winded, but hey, this Christian life ain't too bad. I kind of like it. It's like my dad. <laughs> as you can tell, they follow the Bible as well. You should follow their lead by running not one mile, but two or maybe three. So I hope that you can see that tonight we want to wish you well and ask you to go and tell. You see, I'm just in the rhyming mood right now, so I hope that you will find this very good. Um, what you are trying to think about is not just doing what God asks, not just doing just the minimal, but we extend ourselves and we go far beyond that. We don't just go one mile when we're supposed to just go one, but we extend ourselves and we will go with somebody two miles. We will make the extra my account, and we will help others in need. And we're going to live the Christian life. We're going to extend God's grace to others. We're going to be kind to one another, and we're going to help, and hopefully people will see God through us. Matthew chapter 5, verse 38 through 42. Remember the thrust of tonight's lesson is not to stop at one mile, 
but go to. Thanks for joining us tonight. I hope that you have a blessed night. Thanks for joining kids class and continue to strive to serve God mightily each and every day.